Hello everybody, how's it going? I'm Miguel Sanchez, and welcome to episode 356 of Moshi Monsters Biography. And boy, we're glad you're here today because we got another Moshi set to complete. But before we do that, we have two new subscribers to the channel, so yay! Welcome to the channel, Alex Khan! I see Alex Fan! So, there you go. So yes, Alex Khan, you are the newest subscriber to our channel. Thank you so much for subscribing. We're on our way to 800 subscribers, we're halfway through. We're halfway through the road to 800 subscribers, so thanks for subscribing, Alex Fan. If you want to go check out the shelf, pull the link up there on the top right corner of the screen, so please go check it out. If I can't find out, I'll, pull it, I'll leave it in the description below. So thank you for subscribing, Alex Fan. You are the best. Also, another new subscriber to the channel, so welcome to the channel, NFL Fan 21! Oh my gosh, that's right, NFL Fan 21, you are the new subscriber to the channel as well. Thank you once again for subscribing. You are, you totally rock, as we are still on the road to, we are we're on our way to... 800 subscribers, so thank you once again for subscribing. We're going to go check out the shell. Again, the link to that will be on the top right corner of the screen. If, again, if I can't find it, I'll leave it in the description below. Once again, thank you so much for subscribing to NFL Fan 21. You already ready to rock. As, and once again, so thanks once again to Alex Fan and to NFL Fan 21 for subscribing to my channel. You totally do it. Thank you so much. Alright, All right, now housekeeping for today. Let's get on to the story. Let's go on to the show as we have another boxing set to complete. This one is the mini set as we are going to close it out once and for all. Today on this episode of Boshi Monsters by Ike So let's get started. We did the Super Monstering Hot Show, the Chief Twit 2 on episode 181. That's followed by the first main boxing that I said, Jesse the Ginger McMosh Link on episode 198. And then Long Beer the Valiant Viking on episode 231. And then most recently. Scarlet O'Hara, the uh, the fluffy snuggler on, on episode 351. Now we close out the boss. Now we close out the basic set once for all. Right here, right now. You ready for us? Good. Then let's get started. Welcome to episode 356. And today is about Shapel. the scraggy and the scraggy chappy. The scrappy chappy. Mm. Yay! I can't believe it. Yes, it's about it's about Shapel, the scrappy chappy. If you're so, we're so glad to hear. We're gonna see how this little machine can do just in the nick of time. And for those who have seen previous episodes, at least go check it out. Episode 355 was about Serena, another member of the Puppeteers. So please give that a watch. I'll put a link out there at the top right corner of the screen so you can watch the video and see how it unfolds, however, any way you want. Now, are you ready for today's episode? So am I. Then let's get started. So, who is Shampoos? Shampoos, the Scrappy Chappy, is an ultra rare monster link in the Mythy set in Boshi Monsters. They are presumably encrypted like fellow Mythy set members Jesse and Scarlet O'Hara. Jesse, sorry, sorry about that. Shampoos enjoys extreme hedge diving, which causes their appearance to look like they had been dragged across the floor. Man, that's a whole lot of fun. In the character stats, name is Shampoo, says Mythy's monster number 016. Again, 016. Now you know it. Got good species. Scrappy Chappy. Rarities, ultra rarities. On September 13th, 2012. Figures in series 4. But if I'd watch a combination to catch uh, Shampoo's, you're going to need a special monster seed. Jolly Flowers. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Jolly Flowers. Special monster seed to catch. Uh, a special monster seed to catch uh, Shampoo's. That's on, on in the middle. On the side, there are two lines. One on the, on the right. So, yeah, it's pretty, pretty much shit. Also, there's a note about him. Shampoos' C code card can be obtained in one 20 packs of code breakers or by using the code seeds. And boy, does it does it rock. I really love it. Uh, let's go to the biography. These hapless fur balls look as if they've been dragged through a hedge backwards and forwards and sideways and up and down. That's because they enjoy extreme hedge driving. When they're not somersaulting into shrubbery, you'll find them nibbling their own ears. But don't worry, they grow back and are delicious with a cucumber based dip. Oh man, that's gonna be a whole lot of fun. Uh, in the cleanser sky, what a complete shambles. That's what most monsters say the first time they clap eyes on a scrappy chappy because these hapless fur paws look as they've been dragged through a hedge backwards and forwards and sideways and up and down. And that's not far from the truth because they enjoy the extremely dangerous sport of hedge diving. When they're not somersaulting and shrubbery, you'll find them nibbling their own ears. But don't worry, they'll grow back and are absolutely delicious with a cucumber based dip. <laughs> In the habitat, Wingle D woods. But you'll but you'll need a ladder because scrappy chappies hang out on tall branches. And unfortunately on the bottom right corner of the screen, it says here this area is unexplored. And the picture that says this area is unexplored. So no worries guys. We'll explore next time. For, okay, 
I know. Uh, personality, happy, good, lucky, jumpy, plucky, likes crumbs and ear nibbling, dislikes styling, styling wax, and neckties. <laughs> so yeah, now you know. In the character second PDF, main spirited shambles and the rest of the happy scrappy chappy crew like to chill out high up in the trees of Wingle D Woods. These messy mythies are very content to look scruffy, so you'll never see them sporting an elegant necktie or selling their fur to look good. Self-staking, Scrap scrappy chappies have the yucky habit of nibbling on their own ears, which they claim tastes particularly yummy, dunked in puke or dip. Lucky for them, their ears grow back. So they've always had, so they always have a never-ending supply of ear snacks. Yay. Um, shrubberies that results. The shambles love uh, the love extreme hedge diving with fellow fur boss. This is probably why this scrappy chappy and all the other bottle critters always look like they've been dragged through a hedge backwards. Literally. <laughs> Yay. I love it. Uh, data file, boshy type. Mythies, species, scrap, scrappy, chappy, habitat, winkle, the winkle deed woods. Mythy mates are Jesse, Longbeard, and Scarlet Hera. They all been discussed in past episodes. Please get those to watch. For the notes, not ear, scruffy feathers, never see styling wax, and scrappy, flappy hands are surprisingly strong for tearing through bushes. Man, that's a lot of fun. In the bushy PDF, these hapless fur balls look as they've been dragged through a hedge backwards and forwards and sideways and up and down. That's because they enjoy extreme hedge diving. When they're not some resulting into shrubbery, you'll find them nibbling their own ears. But don't worry, they'll go back and are delicious with a puke base dip. <sighs> I love it so much. In the official Global Figures Guide, these shambolic fur balls look like they've been dragged through a hedge backwards, forwards, sideways, and upside down. Which is not far from the truth, as their favorite sport is hedge diving. <laughs> Man, a lot of fun. For the fiction, shambles has been used as one of the promo as one of promotional moshings for moshing rescue. <laughs> I love it. That's fun. And finally, for the trivia, formerly shambles could be obtained from the moshing mail playset, but shortly after the codes began to redeem sales for Lemmix, so oh, mash. The, the humongous hawk's order, which I already talked about in episode 237, so please get that a watch. Uh, Shambles' seed is the jolly flowers, although their seed was said to be the to be scrappy sh shrub in the Code Breakers co -card. Uh The tune accompanied along with their animation is a portion of Entry of the Gladiators. Woo! <laughs> that's pretty interesting, but that's it for Shambles! Let's get to the final three for the getter. Well, well, Shambles is not a good character. I really love it so much. But in the end, you get the idea. So, just as I expected, Shambles is, is good to stay. Also, you want to stand, I'm wearing Shambles with a score of 7 out of 10. Very good character. Nothing you have to worry about here. But just as I expected, things could go better all the time. But that's only my personal concern to opinion. Feel free to agree or disagree with any thoughts and opinions in the comments section down below. But just like that, another... Or another Moshi set is complete! Yay! Thank you so much for watching another episode of Moshi Monster Bike. We have finally finished the Mythy set. It is finally over! Yay! Woo! Can't believe it. Another Moshi set is done and dusted. But we'll be back tomorrow with another episode of the series. So please stay tuned. We got more where that came from. So don't miss out. But all things must come to an end. So thank you so much for watching. I'm Miguel Sanchez. You yourself. And I will see you tomorrow on Moshi Monster Spyography. Join me again next time for episode 357 as we go from one Moshi set to another. The Woody set. As we take a look at Shed, the welcoming Woodlink. Oh my gosh, we've been to we, we, we've been to the Woody set three times. First time was Chico, the sheriff of Nunnyham, made some moshing that we already talked about in episode 64. And then the first regular moshing in that set, Ivy, the chivalry equivalent on episode 191. And then, and then most recently, Peekaboo, the okie dokie hokey pokey. All the way down on a past episode, which was episode uh, uh, episode 294. So, give these three episodes to watch, and then come back for episode 357, so we take a look at Shed, the welcoming Woodlink, and, uh, the third main watching out of the Woody set. So, with that, with that being said, thanks for watching. Um, until tomorrow, because it's just right here. Please remember to leave a like, share this video with your friends, leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, turn on notifications to miss this video. Please, please, subscribe to notifications to turn on so don't miss another new video from me, as we are on the road to... 800 subscribers. Thank you for watching. You all have a pleasant day, and we'll talk to you guys again tomorrow. Thanks so much, guys. I'll be glad to say off. Like, fair, subscribe. We'll see you in another video. Laters!